welcome to the Trudesoika House Museum. My name is Anita Steinitz. I am director of this museum. I'm also the daughter of Trude Soika, a Jewish artist and Holocaust survivor. Hello, I am Gabriela Steinitz. I am the granddaughter of Trude Soika and welcome to this house. The Trude Soika House Museum is located in Quito, Ecuador. Ecuador is a beautiful country on the equator on the west coast of South America. This country is very diverse. It has the Galapagos Islands and the Amazon jungle and beautiful beaches in the coastal region and also the Andean highlands and its capital is Quito. Quito is a colonial city. Uh, it was declared uh, by UNESCO a World Heritage Site. Actually, it was the first city ever to have this title. And uh, in uh, the northern part of Quito, there is a neighborhood, La Floresta, where a lot of Jewish uh, people came and settled uh, after their arrival from Europe. The Jewish community in Ecuador is uh, today very small, actually maybe 600 people, but it used to be much larger. Um, a lot of immigrants came during the rise of Hitler and the Nazism and also the Holocaust. They were businessmen, and a lot of them in the arts and sciences and medical doctors. And they helped uh, develop this small country. And one of the families, the Jewish families, that came to this neighborhood, La Floresta, were Hans and Trude, my parents. In 2007, we opened to the public the Trude Soika House Museum. Since then, we strive to keep alive Trude Soika's memory and her art with the aim to contribute to the building of world peace. Uh, perhaps the most important thing for us has been this change from the Trude Soika Cultural House to the Trude Soika House Museum. Trude Soika was born in 1909 in Berlin. Uh, both of her parents were Czech uh, and Jewish, and she grew up in a very wealthy family. So this is her father, Rudolf, and her mother, Hedvika. Uh, they moved to, to Prague when she was a child. And when she finished high school, she went to the Berlin Academy of Fine Arts. So this is her when she was young. And in 1938, she married Desider Schwarz. So this is the day of their marriage. Trudesek and her husband, uh, during the Holocaust, probably they hid, but we are not sure about it because Trudesek never told us. What we know is that in 1944, uh, they went to the country, they were deported, and uh, Trude lost her husband in Auschwitz. Uh, she was in four different concentration camps and probably the the most difficult thing she experienced is the loss of her baby, her first child. She was liberated on May 11th, 1945. The baby died a couple of weeks after that. Then she went back to Czechoslovakia to try to find her family but she found nobody and the only thing she found is actually a little note coming from her brother who was living in Ecuador. So immediately she decided that she had to join him and in 1946 
she began the trip to this country. So she came to Ecuador and after three months of uh, navigating in the, in the, uh, through the ocean, um, she met uh, her, her brother, the only remaining member of her family in, in Guayaquil. So this is uh, her brother Walter Soika. In Ecuador, uh, she also met a very good friend of, of Walter, uh, Hans Steinitz, another Holocaust survivor. And, uh, well, two years later, in 1948, they got married and they built their family. So they had three daughters. The youngest one is my mother, <laughs> Anita. And they came to Quito. They were first living in Guayaquil. And here they built this house. And here she made her own atelier, her studio, and dedicated the, the rest of her whole life to, to art. So this is her when she was a little bit older. Uh, she made exhibits in, uh, in other countries, in, in the United States, in France. I think she, at the end of her life she was very happy and uh, she could uh, maybe not overcome the whole experience she had during the Holocaust, but her art helped her a lot. The Trude Soika House Museum has several permanent exhibits, like this one here, Expressionism, Dancing Colors. And in this room, we find this painting, Acrobacy, with uh, several acrobats that are united by a single line, like a thread. Okay, here we have another permanent exhibit by Trude Soika, which is called uh, Fulfillment and Tenderness, The Circle Closes. These are artworks that Trude Soika did at the end almost of her life. So we are at the exhibit No One's Imprints, uh, that is based on the poetry of Paul Celan, a Jewish uh, Holocaust survivor uh, artist. And uh, these are my artworks that I've made as a way to find, try to find my identity again in my roots, and as well as to, as to search a little bit this past that my grandparents never told me. Speaking about memory, uh, we are here in a secret room that my grandparents built in case something happened, something similar to the Holocaust, and they, they could hide here. And since this is a museum now, we have exhibited pictures from different archives about the Holocaust. Uh, and we've put also some sculptures uh, made by my grandmother that remind us of, this, of these times, difficult times. But there is a phrase in the center of the room by Anne Frank that says, In spite of all, I still believe in the inner good of mankind. Here we are at the library of the museum. We have more than 2,000 books in almost all languages and uh, they are mostly about art, holocaust, genocides and Jewish history in general. Okay, this room is devoted to uh, Hans Steinitz who was my father and also to the Soika's husband. Hans Steinitz was born in 1908 and he studied to become a lawyer but could not finish his studies because of the war. In 1938, during Kristallnacht, he was arrested and taken to the concentration camp of Sachsenhausen, not far away from Berlin. 
He was very lucky though, because uh, Jose Ignacio Burbano, who was at that time consul of Ecuador in Bremen, uh, gave him a visa to come to this country, to Ecuador. He traveled in the beginning of 1939 to Guayaquil, and here in Ecuador, he became a businessman. Jose Ignacio Burbano saved the life of other Jewish people in Ecuador. And right now, he is in the process of becoming a righteous among the nations. And he's not the only one. In Ecuador, there is another righteous among the nations whose name is Manuel Antonio Muñoz Borrero. He was consul of Ecuador in Stockholm, and he saved the life of more than 260 Jews by giving them false passports. This is why this room is also devoted to the righteous among the nations. Okay, this room is devoted to the victims of different genocides. Uh, we have to bear in mind that the Holocaust, of course, was a genocide. But unfortunately, in this world, it is not the only one. There are many, many genocides in this world. So we created an installation symbolically inside this guard rope, the clothes of different victims of genocides. You have the Armenian genocide, the Christian genocide by the Nazis, Cambodia genocide, Guatemala genocide, and the genocide of the Tutsis by the Hutus. The Trudestoika House Museum is a space, a lab, where we invite the community to reflect and discuss with us about different social issues. And in this uh, house museum, we uh, tell the story of Trude Soika and all our family, and we would like you to identify with our stories. Uh, we really want to create empathy, because if there is empathy, there is no fear, there is no hate. And this is the beginning for the construction of peace. So join us. We hope one day you will come here and visit this house. And uh, before you leave, we would like you to see our last showroom, which is the Sculpture Garden.